Hi, I'm Dave Barney, Product Manager for our TV Attribution product. And I'm here today with David Murphy, the TV Attribution Global Product Expert. Today we're going to walk you through custom and scheduled reports. In the Attribution 360 product, there's two ways to build a custom report. One is the custom report mechanism and one is the scheduled report. In the first one, you, when, if you go into the UI and you build a report with whatever filters or date range or dimensions you want to look at, you can then save that report and review it later. But the other way is the scheduled report, which is a way to have a report emailed to you on a specific date for a specific date range. Now David here is going to walk us through how we set up and run both of those. Cool. Thanks Dave. Let's dive in and see how easy it is. Okay, so first off we're in the website performance area, but you could be doing this in any of the other analysis tabs. Um, I'm just going to kind of make a little bit of a customization here. So we're going to look at network and day part, which is great. I've got the view I want. I don't want to have to keep doing that every time I look. So I'm going to save that. And I'm just going to call it um, broadcast example and hit save. And then that's great. You'll First off, you'll see it appear down here in custom reports. If you just click there, you'll have all your saved sections. But equally, if you want to manage it, you go over to the admin tab and under user settings, custom reports, you can now see it's here. So if you clicked on it that way, you'd go back to that page. But if you want to manage things and get rid of old ones, um, then you can always select them and delete them here. It may be worth mentioning if the admin tab doesn't show up for you, then that means you're not set as an admin user on this account and you need to talk to an administrator to be made an admin. It's a great point. So now if we move over to the scheduled reports, this is where you now create those directly from this page. So we'll click Add. Um, we choose the date, uh, data source. So it's either going to be the attributed website data, attributed search data, or your own TV spot data. In this case, we'll choose the website data. Click OK. And now we're just going to kind of fill out some of these fields. So we'll just call it Example Report. And um, again, you have complete control over like the um, what kind of data you have. And here we're going to look at monthly data. Um, I'm just going to leave these as is, but you can define the date range if you want. Um, if you don't want 100% of a month, you know, you can have every two weeks. And you can also figure out when that report goes out. If there's a delay of your data, maybe you do want it to be seven days after the month starts. Um, here you choose the frequency, so I'm going to choose monthly in this case. And I'm not going to have an end date on it, so it's just going to keep sending out until I stop the account. And here you actually have a preview for the next four exports, just to make sure it's all fine and what you're expecting. So once you've set up all the kind of pre-details, you go next, and this is where you define what you want to see. So we're just going to make a really simple one, looking at network, and you can use the search functionality within the filters too. So network, and you click on the plus symbol to add another one. We're going to do day part and date as well. And uh, then we're just going to quickly choose a couple of metrics. So I think in this case, to keep it high level, we're just going to look at impressions the cost for these rows, and also the cost efficiency, because that's what we care about in this example. Once you've got those, you click Save, and then you'll come back to the scheduled report screen. And again, once again, you can manage things. If you don't like that one, you can delete it. But you'll see two final things, when the next report's due to come out. But if you want to test it before that, you click Run Now. And what, what will happen is you'll get an email as that user with the data in the way you've just formatted it. Thank you, David, for walking us through that. So we've just shown two ways to build custom reports, one in the UI called the custom reports, and one that will be emailed to you at a specified date and time called scheduled reports. Both of these intended to provide the ease for the recurring re uh, reporting that you expect to see. And thank you for watching.